So let's do a little warm up real quick. Everybody know the song? Of course, dance to the music. And so what I need you to do is repeat after me. One. keep celebrating her life, her legacy, and continuing on with this program. Uh, this next one has always been one of my favorite, just from the, I guess, I guess I can say, like, definitely sounds like circus vibes, and just, that was one thing that always drew me to Sly and the Family Stone, who I think were oftentimes ahead of their time for a band coming out in the 60s with some of the music that was happening around that time and the sounds they were going for, the effects they were putting on like the bass and just in general was kind of crazy when you really think about it. So this is one, one of my all time favorite songs. Um, if you know it, sing along. We might come after you again. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> this is life. Thank you. 
how many of you know about another American artist named Prince? Woo! <laughs> so, Cynthia Robinson in the late, well, I guess technically late 90s, because it was the Party Luck is 1999 concert he did at Paisley Park. Uh, she performed with Prince. He invited her as well as Jerry and Larry Graham, uh, other founding members of Sly and the Family Stone, to jam, gave them a moment to shine and celebrate them for all that they did for the music. And during that concert, they did a really nice moment. Like, I was so happy <laughs> to uh, hear of this because just a different take on some of the songs that we grew up listening of Sly and the Family Stone, because again, Cynthia Robinson. Flying Family Stone and Prince. It's just a perfect <laughs> combination in my eyes. So we're gonna do one from that show. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's so much fun. I'm really excited to play this. You're going to be hearing uh, John Michelle. He's gonna have a moment on this. Uh, Gabrielle Murphy. And yeah, this is Everything Everyday People. And you'll hear the next one. Again, be ready. <laughs> and I have to call upon you once more. Enjoy.
a moment to accolade Cynthia Robinson and her legacy and what it meant for so many of us. You know, she was really the first black instrumentalist and black trumpet player inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. First, you know, that's such a still be first of anything, right? And, you know, I could talk about like everything she went through, you know, the hardships, the breakups, the being judged on what she looked like, you know, um, and it, y'all can, I'm sure you can only imagine what this woman went through during her career, during her whole life, for real, for real, and I don't want to put too much energy on that because she persevered in spite of it, right? You know, she, this, despite everything, trying to keep her down or keep her in her place from the very beginning, you know, I'm saying, don't pick that, that's a white man's instrument. You know, from her wanting to play the trumpet to she doesn't have the right look or whatever. She was still out here, still creating music, mm -hmm. still changing lives, showing people like me that it's possible we have a place in this music. So in that spirit, uh, before we play this next song, I just want to thank the Festival of New Trumpet Music for giving me the opportunity to be here and present the music as a, you know, of one of my heroes and for giving the space for a black woman to perform on a festival. Uh, yes. uh, <laughs> I just want to encourage you as viewers, you as people and whatever powers that may be to continue to give women a chance, particularly black women. Um, it's not too often we get in these positions. Uh, we're more than qualified. As you can hear from all of you, <laughs> from that yeah. incredible careers and music of their own. It's like we have it, we can do it. Um, so thankful to be here. Also, don't wait until you know we've created our own avenues to then celebrate us. Or, and unfortunately, in Cynthia Robinson's case, don't wait until her death to celebrate her and give her her flowers. Try to give flowers to the people you look up to and admire while they're still here, just so they know. You know, I, it's unfortunate that not enough people know about this incredible woman and all that she's done, uh, the people she's worked with, things that she's created and was a part of. So, yeah, that's my spiel. <laughs> I'm preaching on work, job. <laughs> this next, this next song is entitled Underdog in that spirit. And yeah, I think we're gonna have a lovely feature of Miss Kenyana Hutchison. <laughs> as always, I may come to you once more. <laughs> so be real. This is Underdog. <laughs>
have reached the end of our program. <laughs> but thank you so much for coming. Um, it's been a great, we've had a great time up here. Um, we've been listening to Kristen Devine on vocals. <laughs> Gabrielle Murphy on sax. Yeah. Kiana Hutchison on guitar. Yeah. Arthur Sandoval on keys. Yeah. Jonathan Michelle on bass. Gary Jones III, uh, my original guitar, uh, <laughs> <laughs> guitar <laughs> my original drummer, Anwar Marshall, had a unfortunate family emergency and I had to drop everything and rush to Philly this afternoon. So coming in clutch an hour before our sound check, <laughs> learning all of this music in the last two hours. So to wrap up this tribute, I thought, what better way than to do one of her songs? Which, you know, I really did scour the internet, called a few people to try to see, like, yeah, I know of everything she did with Sly and the Family Stone, and Larry Graham and Prince, George Clinton. But what about her? Does she have any original music? Where's her original music? I would love to like play more of her music. And you know, she was quite satisfied, and rightfully so, to perform with all of these great, amazing artists and groups and the group that she co-founded, Slime the Family Stone. And you know, that's beautiful because that's her music, you know, as much as it is the people whose name is on, you know, the record. So I celebrate just her hard work, her, eth her pers again, perseverance, just the beautiful legacy that she's left for so many trumpet players like myself. But I did find this one group. <laughs> uh, her last project she was involved with before her, um, before she lost her battle with cancer in 2015. This was with a group called The Stoners, which she continued to put together with other founding members of the group, so one being her daughter. So if you go um, online and find it, it's a very beautiful video they made as a tribute um, at, shortly after she passed. It's featuring her daughter, um, her cousin, you know, just is with really beautiful energy. And I love the message of this song. You're about to hear it. This is your last chance to, you know, a little crowd participation. But again, my name is Leslie Bonner. I thank you so much for being here. Come talk to me afterwards. Uh, I'll be that way. I'll see that going on. And you can catch me or any of these incredible artists I find myself with are up to next. Um, it's going to be a beautiful tribute following. Uh, this show, so stick around, and yeah, this is Do Your Dance. Woo!
Thank you. 